I like to report to 911. An electric bill that I'm being harassed of by stalkers who stalk me and harass me to move it to a camper that was not fully placed on my inherited name. I've been harassed nonstop to allow Jason Parfait and Flores Knockin to move into the camper. I do not have it on my name. They are harassing me every day. Telling me that it's not mine, but they also harass me. Telling me that it is my responsibility to let them move in. But they keep harassing me. Telling me that I can't do nothing, that I can't evict them. But they keep harassing me. Telling me that I am the one trying to kick them out. They keep harassing me because I don't have the camper on my title name. They keep harassing me to tell me to let them move in for three years since July the 2017 when they stalked me at my sister Sylvia's house. Harassing me because I do not want to put it on my name. Because they keep harassing me. They keep harassing me. Hiring all kind of rapists to rape me when I move into my camper I was living in before my mom died. Keep harassing me because I don't have the campers on my name. I cannot allow them on my name. I told a police officer to his face. I cannot allow nothing to be done with something that is not on my name. And if they keep fucking doing this, I told the police, it's not on my name. They are trying to say it's on my name. So I put my name on the camper because they keep harassing me, telling me that it's mine, that I have to let them live there. Then July 2018, they wanted electricity. No, it's 2017 July. They wanted electricity so bad, they paid Timmy Valdivias' bill he left on my mom's name. When Timmy moved in there, March 2017, and they keep harassing me because they chose to break the law. They chose to move into that camper. They lived in the abandoned trailer in the back. All while my mom was alive. They keep harassing me about the electric bill. That my brother, Lou Timmy, Timmy, left. $400 electric bill. No, Loopy wanted to move in. Because Jason was trying to get Loopy to come in July 2017. To harass me too. To let him move in. Even to let him move into the camper I used to stay in. Keep harassing me. I don't own none of it, bitch. You have no rights telling anybody that I want you to get out. I want you to quit using my name, bitch. I told the police. I don't want you in my camper. I told the police, and the police said yes. 
Timmy has to show up and take the camper with no courts. Show up at Sharon Toops. Show up at Sharon Toops. Take the title. Do what you want with it, Timmy. Me and the police officer agreed. This is possible. It is not a civil matter. I am not disagreeing. I am not fighting you, Tammy. The police officer said you are the one behind everything. And I call all of you a rapist. You're nothing but a rapist. Every time I was about to get a guy to come and live with me, marry me, without sex, motherfucking Timmy and Beth Karpinski showed up. Timmy and Beth, Timmy Valdivias, and harassed my mother when she was alive to force me to let Timmy and his wife Stay in my fucking private fucking camper to chase any opportunity away from me having someone who is gonna marry me without sex before marriage, bitch. So don't ever come at me, bitch. You're all fucking rapists. You're all fucking whores. You all fucked somebody before you married somebody else. And you want to stop me? Because you fuck your shit up, bitch. Why don't you go fuck Michael Brady, bitch? He's your fucking faggot lover, bitch. Go fuck him, bitch. Used up fucking rapist. I don't like you, Trey Lacoste. I never did. I hated my daddy helping you with your dumb fucking batteries, with your dumb fucking bicycle parts. I hated you asking my dad for any fucking junk my dad had. Timmy Valdivias is going to go to jail. I gave that police officer your name, bitch. Before the police officer brought me to the store in the car while picking me up at Aunt Ina's house. You are the one. Need to get the fuck out of my face, bitch. <laughs>